Hello again. Today I want to do a uh, well, kind of an overview video of my Mother Earth Waste Oil Heater. Uh, thing I built about six, seven years ago out of a uh, wasted uh, hot water tank, hot water heater, and uh, you can find the plans for these online still if you look under Mother Earth Waste Oil Heater, naturally. Um, I haven't used this for a couple of years. I put up a new building here a few years back and this last year I got the chimney put in so I got this set, set up again and uh, I've been playing with it and learning it all over again. Um, one thing when I built this heater I wanted it to burn clean and I think I finally clicked on the combination of things that work good for me and it, it burns nice and clean and puts out good heat. And, so I'm real happy with it. Anyway, just do a little overview of it. As you can see, coming down the front of the chimney is a copper line. Up on the second floor, I have a bulk tank with the oil in it. This is a uh, drip feed. I have a little old fuel valve there to control the oil, turn on and off. I open that up about a half a turn. I got all the oil I need. That runs down into an inch and a half pipe. And that runs down the center of that pipe. Let's see if I can get a look inside the stove here. And comes out inside the stove and inside the burner. The burner's not in here right now. But that's where that runs down inside. Okay, this is also a forced air unit. And forced draft. And to, to uh, create the forced draft, I use a hair dryer. Keep it on high. The air dryer is attached to a box which I have a dimmer switch on. So being that the air dryer is on high, I have infinite control of the speed of this fan. And that works really nice and it, it helps me to keep that thing burning clean. So I can feed however much air I need into it to get it to burn that way. Um, my burner is over here. It's kind of a combination of a bunch of burners that other people have used. and. I took things that worked for me, and that worked best for me, and that's what I used. And, uh, the outside is a six inch well casing. I poke some holes in, put a little hole in there for a plug so I can start it. And uh, this unit right here, the little stand on it, it uh, goes down inside that burner. Yeah, let me see. Basically how this works is I feed rags through the hole down there and then I work them around the base of this stem. Now the rags are here. They're just old shop rags. I cut them up into strips, soak them with kerosene. You put a match to them, they light up and they heat up this. That's just a bolt there with a, a fender washer on top. They heat that up, get that nice and hot, and that's what the oil drips on. When that thing's good and hot, that oil vaporizes right away and burns up. As a matter of fact, I believe once the burner's running, the oil doesn't even hit it. It just it vaporizes right inside of here. So it works real good. Now that unit just drops down inside here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And and to start it, I just feed about a half a dozen rags up in that thing, work them around, you know, light her up, and away we go. Well, that's about the heart of the burner there. Uh, take you outside, and I'll show you my uh, filtering setup for my waste oil, which is absolutely nothing fantastic. Uh, what I have, turn the light on here. What I have is a bunch of these plastic 15 gallon drums. I think they're 15 gallon. And uh, get them from one of the farmers here. And I believe it's got teat wash in. Not whatever the case. They work real nice. In the drum, I have a funnel. And I have a paint filter that you can buy at Fleet Farm Menards, wherever, any hardware store. And that is basically all I use to filter the oil. 
drain it out the car, I dump it through that thing, and away we go. So a lot of guys use a lot of fancy filters and stuff. I haven't had a problem at all. This thing has not blocked up on me one bit. So I'm real happy with how that's working. Once that drum is full, then I transfer it over to my little stand here. And, uh, I built this thing and it tilts. So I can pour it out. You can see just pick it on there. So I can pour it out and I pour it out into this two gallon can and uh, transfer it up to my bulk tank upstairs. And that's not the best situation but it works. So that's what I keep doing. Take you up to the bulk tank up here. It's all very simple. Everything is very uncomplicated with this, which is what I like. I'm not a complicated person. Uh, this is my bulk tank. Again, it's one of the plastic 15-gallon drums. The top has got a an inch and a half street L in it. That's how I pour the fuel in. Down below it's got a nipple with a with a uh, ball valve on it and that runs down to this mason jar which is just a, a water separator basically and from there it runs down and down to my burner that's all there is to it uh, it's a very simple sy system it works real well I burn when I run this thing I'm burning about a gallon and a half to two gallons in eight to ten hour period depending on how hot I'm running it so it's working real well for me. I'm real happy with it. I appreciate you watching and somewhere along the way I'll do one on firing it up and uh, do a video on that. So take care. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Alright. Do a little video on firing this thing up this morning. I got a little project to do out here so I thought I killed two birds with one stone. Uh, I got my oil tank upstairs turned on, got my rags, <laughs> soaked in the kerosene, and all I'm going to do is take the rags, take four or six of them, and plug them in this hole. I'm working around the stem on that uh, burner. Get a little noise, I gotta turn my, my force draft on. And that really makes that thing come to life. Now I'm gonna come up here and get my oil valve about a half a turn. That's all there is to it. And I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run for about a half an hour. that later and I got some other things to do. Okay, it's been roughly oh, about 45 minutes I guess. I lost track of time here a little bit. Started out it was about 35 degrees in here. It's now it's uh, like 43 and uh, burner as you can see is pumping out some heat. A little stubborn to get warmed up this morning for some reason. But it's still not quite up to temperature by the amount of smoke coming off of there. We'll go outside and take a look once, see what we got coming out the chimney. Okay, let me see. All right, as 
as you can see, there's still some smoke coming out the chimney. That's a little more than what I'd like to see. But it's for some reason it's not warming up as quickly as I'd like it to this morning. But we'll let her keep her running and deal with it. Get back to you in another half an hour or so. All right, we're back again. Um, oops, I didn't want to focus. Been uh, another half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm guessing. I don't know, I keep losing track. I'm trying to put together a cabinet here in the process of doing this video, but uh, anyway, as you can see, it's burning like a bear. I did have to kick it up uh, the three quarters of a turn on the oil because it just wasn't heating up proper. And I was getting a lot of smoke out of it and stuff. So I kicked her up. We'll go back outside and we'll take a look at it again. Okay. Zoom uh, out here. As you can see now, it's burning really nice and clean. And that's the way I like to see it. No smoke coming out of that thing at all. Today just gave me problems. I don't know. It just didn't wanna didn't wanna heat up nice for me, but just took a little bit longer. She's working real good now. Oh, I guess that'll be about the end of it. I gotta get this cabinet built. Oh. Alrighty. Well, one last thought. It's about 2:30 now, and uh, as you can see the thing's been running since about 9:30 this morning, I believe, and it's running nice and clean. Got a nice warm in the building, and uh, you know it's a it's a good little heater. It's it works. Go inside, take a look in there again. Oh, okay. There she is, still uh, burning away. Uh, you know it's about 68 degrees in here now. It started this morning. It was like 36. I can pretty much get it as hot as I want in here. But running that thing about half half a turn brings the temperature up nice and easy and it's comfortable to work all day. If it gets too hot, I just crack the door over here and let somebody heat into the other section of the room. But, uh, it's working good. I'm happy with it. It gave me a little bit of grief this morning getting going. Didn't want to heat up. But I'm still... You know, it's about the third time I've run it, so I'm still learning again. My thoughts, I guess, if you're looking for a cheap heater, you know, this is the way to go. It's not something you're going to leave run and walk away from. Although I will fire it up and, and go in the house and back and forth during the day, but I won't leave the, the property and leave it run. You know. It's not something you're going to want to leave run all night. But when you're out working in your shop, it works really decent. Generally when I'm out here, I'm out here for at least eight hours and then I fire it up and, and it works nice. And just my thoughts. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching again. See you on the flip side. Bye bye.